today's lesson, we move to the question, where does our drinking water come from? We all drink it. Welcome to Watch Your Question. I'm Mr. Watts. Let's go. The objectives in today's lesson are to state the different forms of water that we find, to describe how we can make potable water from dirty water, and how we can also make drinkable water from seawater as well. There are four kinds of water that you need to be aware of. They're ground water, which is the water we found in the cracks in the ground from rain dropping onto the ground and then it's seeping into the ground below us. There is wastewater, which comes from the sewers and the waste from our homes. Uh, and factories. The sea water, which is the salty water, which you get from the sea, which is fairly, fairly obvious. There's potable water, which is water that we can drink, or like the water inside the glass that I just drank. Uh, and there's pure water, which contains only H2O, nothing else. Potable water and pure water are not the same. Potable water does contain minerals and stuff that we need also. To make potable water, we have to put dirty water through a number of different steps. Now, if we're working with groundwater or wastewater, we can use the steps I'm gonna talk about now. I'll talk about salt uh, seawater and what we can do with that in a few minutes time. When we're dealing with the groundwater, we need to, and the sewage water, the, the, the wastewater, we need to make sure that we first of all, um, screen it, which means we sieve the water to remove large impurities that are found in the water. Once it's been sieved, it's then placed into a settlement tank where we add to it um, some aluminium sulfate and lime, which clumps those things together. This is really useful because big substances that are clumped together sink better in the water and we get sedimentation happening during, those th during this stage of the process. So all the big clumps, all the large stuff that's managed to get through the sieve sinks to the bottom of the water. Uh, and the water then travels out of that area as well. It would at that point be filtered again with a more fine filter to remove what, uh, any leftover um, dirt and things found inside the water. Uh, and finally, we'd go through a stage of chlorination where we add chlorine to the water to kill off any harmful microorganisms that you wouldn't want to drink. Uh, the last step would be to check the pH of the water to make sure it's not too acidic. When we want to make drinkable water from seawater, we cannot use the same process because the salt dissolved in the seawater can't be filtered to remove it because it's too small in the solution. Because of this, we need to use a process called reverse osmosis. You should know that osmosis is the movement of water from a low concentration solution to a high concentration solution. This is because there's lots of water when a solution has a low concentration and there's not very much water when it's in high concentration. So the water goes from where it is in a, in, in, in a large amount to where it is in a small amount and it does this through a semi-permeable membrane. In reverse osmosis, we put pressure on the, on the high concentration solution to push the water back the opposite way against the concentration gradient, making the low concentration uh, solution even more diluted. So there should be less salt in there compared to the amount of water. And we make the high concentration solution even more concentrated. We're pushing all the water out of it so that there'll be none left at all. This makes one of our solutions very, very watery and one very, very, very concentrated. And we can then use that very, very watery one, uh, which shouldn't taste as much as salt because of the amount of water added to it. Um, we can use that as drinking water. It is the cheapest way to make that water drinkable for us. We can also use distillation, but this is expensive as we have to heat the water to make it evaporate to then allow it to condense in a condenser to produce the pure water we could then drink. So reverse osmosis is the preferred method we would use for that. Thanks very much for watching. Make sure you stay safe, stay alert, stay curious, and subscribe.